you know, no. I always had good men in my life. The men that I have history with were decent men, um, were steady relationships. So that was never an issue for me. Anywho, the point is that being overweight never, never bothered me or uh, stopped me from being great. Okay. Now, I had um, my kids, okay? I had my kids, as you already know. I'm a mom of three girls. My oldest is 14, my middle is 8, and my youngest is six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And, um, when I had my last one, my baby, my six-year-old, I decided to, um, get, uh, my loops, my loops, my tubes tied, uh, my, my, my tubes litigated, litigated, is that the word? I don't know. The point is, I decided to have surgery so that I don't have any more kids, okay? I didn't, I don't want any more kids. I said, I don't want any more kids. Well, I feel that after having that surgery, my metabolism went from barely working to completely and utterly non-existent. Um, I drink water. Water would make me gain weight. My metabolism just shut down completely. So, what happened? Um, I started gaining weight, like, by the second, guys, when I tell you, I started gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight, like, insanely. I gained so much weight that I went up to 360 pounds. I was blessed enough to be tall. I'm a tall girl. I am 5'10". That is still too heavy for my height. No one should be 360 pounds, almost 361 pounds. No one, unless you're, God knows how tall, but no, let alone a female. No. Anyway, so I started gaining weight. As I started gaining weight, I be, obviously I became heavier. I became more sedentary. I became more, um, like, it was driving me nuts. I became slower, sluggier. Um, I became lazier. It was horrible. That only made it worse. I became lazier and lazier and lazier. So, I never had a problem looking at myself in the mirror. I always looked at myself in the mirror and loved myself. But, one day, I woke up. My husband had gone to work. I woke up one day. I looked at myself in the mirror. And I said, Yuck. How can my husband like what he sees? Guys, I honestly and genuinely felt disgusted. I was like, ew. I could not believe that I had a man that was, that was loving me this way. So, being the confident woman that I've always been, and the pro, um, love, pro self-love female that I've always been, I realized, okay, this isn't normal. This isn't normal anymore. I've never, ever looked at myself in the mirror and said these things to myself, ever. I've always talked nothing but love to myself up until that day. I realized I was now having problems here. And when you start having problems here and you start seeing yourself without love, now we have a very big problem. Very big problem. Because now I'm not happy. And when you're not happy, no one else around you will ever 
me happy, nor will you ever make anyone else happy. And I realized that. So, when I felt like that, um, you know, I said to myself, I can't continue feeling like that. And as time passed, if I felt worse and worse and worse, time passed and I felt worse and worse and worse. So, one day I was watching TV and, um, you know, I'm a believer in God. I respect everybody's views, but I'm a big believer in God. My life revolves in believing in God and I believe in God before anything. So, I believe that God put this in my path as a sign. I was watching TV, which by the way, I don't watch TV much. If I'm ever watching something, it's got to be really, really, really good. And this doctor came up talking about weight loss surgery, which I've heard about in the past. But when he was talking about weight loss surgery and who is the right candidate or the right person for weight loss surgery, guys, I promise you this man was talking to me. He was talking about me. He was literally talking about me. And it blew my mind. I'm like, this man is talking about me. Like, how the hell? Like, like everything he said was directed to me. Like, every single thing he described was describing me. So, as I listened, I'm thinking, God, is this a sign from you? Open doors, my Lord. Open doors. And let me move on with whatever it is you're trying to tell me. Time passed. Oh, and then in that interview or in that report or whatever I was watching, he mentioned that he accepts insurance, medical insurance, which I'm blessed enough to have through my husband's job. So, the first thing he said that you should always do is find out if your insurance covers weight loss surgery. Um, so, that's the first thing I found out. I called the insurance company and I said, listen, do you guys do this, 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 and that? And sure enough, they said yes. These are the requirements and this is the things you have to meet. I met everything. Everything. I had to be, you had to have a BMI of over, of over 40, I think it was. I had a BMI of 50 something, 53, 54. I think even 56, I don't remember. So, I said, you know what? I can do this. Well, I mentioned it to my husband, and my husband had a big problem with it. He was totally against it. He was like, you are crazy. I do not support your choice, your decision. I think you can, you know, get healthy by exercise and eating healthier and, you know. And, guys, honestly, even though I was always happy with myself, I was always overweight, but I was always trying to diet, you know, I was always on some freaking kind of diet, people ask me, what diets have you done, but no, 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 the question is, what diet have I not done, I've tried everything, I've done everything, I promise you, Raps, I've done everything, Jim, I've done everything you can think of, I promise, and everything worked, everything worked up until I stopped doing whatever I was doing and then I gained the freaking weight back probably double if not more so the reason why that wasn't working is because this wasn't changing I was I was just doing the stuff I was required to do but this wasn't changing anyway so my husband was totally against it I was unhappy I was miserable and so everybody around me was miserable because I was miserable. So I said, you know what? One day I said, you know what? I'm going to move forward with my decision regardless of who thinks what. My parents weren't too happy with my decision either. Guys, by the way, I'm drinking a keto drink. I forgot to mention. And how do you guys like my cup? It's um, a mom uh, cup that my daughters made for me last year for 
something 